9.2.1, Law of Exponents. Essential question. When does each property need to be used to simplify exponential expressions? Skill. I can use laws of exponents to simplify exponential expressions. Here are the properties of exponents we'll recall. We have product of powers, that's when you're adding the exponents together. Quotient of powers is subtracting the exponents. You we have a fraction. Power over power, you're multiplying the exponents together. Remember, if there's no exponent for that base, assume it's a 1. Rational exponent, dividing the exponents. Negative exponent, flip the fraction, change the sign of the exponent. And then 0 exponent, it equals 1. As long as the base is at 0 or something. So for this first one, x to the ninth times x to the 7th, we'll use the, the product rule. So that'd be x to the 9 plus 7, that equals x to the 16th power. On the next one, we have a fraction. That's going to be quotient of powers. So that'd be 5 to the 12 minus 7, and y to the 20 minus 8. So it's 5 to the 5th power, and then y to the 12th power. Uh, sometimes they'll multiply out the the number, and subtotals will leave it. If we multiply it out, we get 3,125 y to the 12th power. And then for the last one, we have power of a power. So this 2 has an exponent of 1 since there's nothing visible there. Make sure to always draw those in so you don't forget that. Distribute the 4 to both exponents. So you have 2 to the 4th power times z to the 12th power. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 more is 8 times 2 more is 16. 16 z to the 12th power. Although these first three examples only require one of the exponent properties, there could be examples that use multiple. Answer the essential question. How do you know when to use which property? And try these other examples below.